everyone, my name is Katie Hooker and I'm a PhD student at UF in the Wildlife Ecology and Conservation Department in the lab of Dr. Bob McCleary. And we're here at Tall Timbers Research Station near Tallahassee, Florida. And we're taking part in the biannual small mammal trapping session this December 2016. And so I'm going to show you how to process a rat. Tall Timbers Research Station is in its 17th year of small mammal trapping. Made up of longleaf pine forest, Tall Timbers uses prescribed fire to maintain the ecosystem to historical levels of vegetation. There are eight plots at Tall Timbers, four on the north section and four on the south section. In December 2016, we trapped the south section. Each plot has 100 traps. Here, I've caught a cotton rat in a trap. The first thing I do is shake the animal from the trap into a cloth bag. I collect as much data as possible in the bag to reduce stress on the animal. I'm taking the weight of the individual, approximately 126 grams, inside the bag. The next most difficult part is scruffing the cotton rat. I've sped up the video because it took me about a minute and a half to get a proper scruff on this individual. It's very important that we don't lose the animal in this process without a unique identifying tag on them because we want to ensure that any animal that's been trapped has been marked by us. So now that I've got a proper scruff, I expose the body. I can identify the species, the gender of the individual, and his reproductive status. This is an adult male cotton rat, and he is an adult, however, he's not currently reproductively active, which is pretty common in the winter. I'm using a pencil to expose his ears. Their ears are fur-lined and quite small compared to other small mammal species, which makes them blend in to the rest of their fur. I use a pair of pliers and a metal ear tag with a unique tag number on it to identify this individual. The goal of the study is for us to trap again in the spring and summer and hopefully catch this individual again. And if we get enough individuals that have been marked over a number of months, we can get a good estimate of the population here at Tall Timbers.